Hey, it's Josh here. Again, just want to kind of take you through a uh, common occurrence here, which is scanning a vehicle. Uh, most times when people give us a call or tow their car in or drive in, they, they give us a little example of what's going on, but they truly don't know if it has to do with the engine, if it has to do with the transmission or any other part of the vehicle. What we want to do is get the car here more so than anything else. Uh, first thing we do is plug it in, scan, see what codes are popping up with it, and then second, ultimately drive it if it is drivable uh, to see what's going on while we're inside the car. Now, most times we will see uh, a 700 series code, which truly leads us to the transmission. Other times, engine misfires are huge, and a lot of people will come here thinking their transmission's bad, and ultimately it's actually just a uh, misfire, a couple cylinders are off, oxygen sensor, uh, things of that nature. So we lead people down the right path, and we have other mechanics in the area that we'll shoot them to for those, because we really uh, stick to our guns here with drivetrain, transmission, rear end related items. So what I'm gonna to do today is actually show you what I'm gonna, uh, how I scan. There's a Chevy pickup truck and the guy towed it in himself this past weekend. So what we're gonna do, plug it in, see what codes are on, start it up, see if we got movement front and back. And then what we could do is take those codes, print them out on our printer. That way we have it for the file, call the customer back saying, these are the issues that we see. Here's what we can do to help you. Or if it needs to go somewhere else, we'll lead them down that path. But let's go check out this truck over here. at the truck black silverado he said he couldn't uh, i think it was on the highway lost gears couldn't drive anywhere so he ended up towing it here what we got today is the maco tools what's it maximus 2.0 i like the bluetooth uh, readers here that way i'm not getting caught up with wires and such but just going to turn the key to the on position plug this in and uh, see what we got going on so this is actually one of my builders matco um, scanners and I'm using this now for the fact that the screen cracked on the snap-on that we have, that's technically the shop's one. I actually like this better due to that wireless connection and the updates that are available. And, and it does mostly what we do. A lot of uh, vehicles that come in here are three, four, five plus years older for the fact that most newer cars have a warranty and if their transmission goes, they're usually going back to the dealer. Now, once they go past those miles or past that uh, time frame, those 48, 60 months, whatever it is, that's when they start coming to us uh, to get their transmissions repaired. Just gonna do an automatic search on the VIN. VIN looks correct. Just a couple questions that the scanner is asking you along the way that you have to answer before you could really get into the mold of what's going on. But the, the two main things I do check are just gonna be anything with the engine and anything with the transmission. There's body controls, there's suspension controls, there's some other things most people have. TPMS or uh, wheel speed sensor issues. So we really try to get more driveline related uh, scenarios. Well, I mean, some of those other issues might pertain to what we got going on. To get into the heart of the transmission, we really needed to, to read these two. And here, you know, first one on top, I stopped to read with the GLIR, engine control, read the fault codes, see the display, and see what we got going on. And what I'm seeing now, um, we need to check the transmission, but also know that there are some issues on the engine side of things. So sneak back in, go over here to the transmission. No trouble, cold system normal. So just by scanning, that's telling me possibly there's nothing wrong with the transmission. A lot of it has to do with the engine. Ideally, um, you don't want to take this scanner as the end all be all. You want to get in if it starts up. He said it starts up, so we'll start it up. See if I could go forward, see if I could go backwards. If I can go either way, I'll do a little loop around. If not, we leave it here, um, go through the gears and see what happens. So I'm gonna do that now. And the only thing I'm getting here is just to check engine light, which based on all those codes I just read you, makes sense uh, of what's going on there. I am just gonna put it in drive. And based on what they're telling me, they weren't going anywhere. I'm giving it gas, I'm in drive. Oh, it popped a little bit. And it's, it's shuddering just as we're sitting here. So it's moving a little bit, but not proper. Same thing, let me try to put it in reverse because a lot of times reverse will go. Reverse is working okay. 
got it in drive. So it's a little finicky into drive. And again, it's been sitting for quite some time. Um, a lot of times cars act differently when the fluids get hot versus when they're cold. So let me just try to do a little loop here and see if I can move more than 50 feet. We'll see. And I'm just letting you know right now that uh, just went up to like 1500 RPM and it is not moving. I'm gonna give a little more gas. It caught into gear before, but now it's not. Pop it in reverse because I don't want to get caught on the road here. We know we have an issue due to the fact that we were able to move a little bit forward and now I only got reverse. And reverse, you can feel the, the truck is, is starting to stutter pretty bad as if even as I'm uh, just reversing here. So I'm actually gonna try to get it in this spot if I can. That's the only other problem, I don't know if I can. No, I could hear it. If it's not engaging, it's not catching. Torque converter could be shot, a little more gas. Um, so, daily life. I am stuck because the transmission doesn't work. Usually I have to grab a couple guys to help push. We got a quad in the back that pushes as well. But uh, this is what happens, you know. We, we, we get an understanding of what the customer says. It moves a little bit, uh, probably because it sat for so long and it wasn't heated up. And now it's got a little little movement to it. It got me about, I don't know, 100 feet, and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't go forward at all. So let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get someone to push it. I'm gonna shut it off. So perfect example. We had the truck out here. Customer said it wasn't going anywhere. We scanned it, didn't see anything on the transmission. Uh, got it into drive, it started moving, and I made it, I don't know, like I said, about 100 feet. It started dying out. I'm not gonna risk the vehicle, myself, or anyone else involved to try to loop it back around because this is a pretty popular street out here to our left and even our, our side roads. Um, and the last thing I need to do is get caught in the middle of the road right outside the shop as well. So it's a perfect example of uh, the day-to-day -day scenarios that go on here, why we have to test, what we have to do to see what's going on. And now we can diagnose, call the customer back, saying, hey, now we're getting the same exact issues as you. This one seems to be more torque converter related, uh, but we'll dig in a little bit more to see what's going on. In these uh, scenarios, what we'll do is have our guys or try to sell the customer to have the transmission taken out. Um, we take it out, we open it up, and then we could fully verify what's going on inside, what's broken, what needs to be fixed. Because even still, even without the codes and even without the feeling and without being able to drive it, uh, we want to be 100% sure everything is related to the transmission or any drivetrain part that we fix here. And if it's not, we'll leave someone down the road to our other mechanics uh, to fix that part of the job. But we want to be 100% sure, you know, our honest, honesty um, with all our customers is truly getting exactly what, uh, fixing the problem of what they brought in and making sure that it lasts many, many moons after they leave. All right, thanks guys.